Okay, welcome back, folks, to part four. And um, here we are at the very first frame of the tenth now. We left off at the ninth, right? At, and here's the next frame on the tenth. And you can still make out our little X signature. Let me scroll this down a little bit so you can get a better perspective of what's happening here. You can see the nice round shape of this sphere right here. You can see the light bending and draping over it. Okay, over here is kind of a ghostly white type image, and then in the background you can make out this black curvature here, which is another object that's back behind this one as well. So we're going to start going through this one frame by frame. So I want you to watch as the light drapes over this object and it passes by. You can see how it's coming out, bending and going up and around. It's like a sucking light off of the sun. Here you can make out the back side of it, right here, this curvature, and a secondary one back behind it as it passes. Now here we are at the start of another blast here on the 10th, and I'm going to go through this frame by frame because this one happens pretty fast. Look how much it's grown in just the 12 minutes. You can make out over here on this side, there are multiple objects. See the curvature back here? There's an object here. There's a smaller one in front of it with even a smaller one in front of that and a little moon on that one too. So there's one, two, three, four objects lined up in a row right here. And you can see this instrument reacting to it. You can see the light coming off, bending all the way around it, totally encapsulating it and draping all the way around it, giving it a nice round defined shape. This is the next frame. And you can still make out a little ghost image here of this little moon in front, this object. And now you can see that light has really stretched out and it's starting to drape around a much bigger object here in the background. This is the bigger one that was behind the first one. And here we are. Here's the conduit of material that's being sucked into it right here. Here's the light going over the top and light draping down around the bottom. This object is so big, it's way up here, way down here, and then you can see another object right here that's alongside of it, alongside of the main object in the back, and we'll watch it as it goes by. Now starting out here at zero hundred, we're going to put this into motion, and I want you to watch this. Do you see how fast that went by? And do you see all the debris here? This is all the debris from the front object that's being sucked off into the second object. And this is the tail of the main object coming off. Here we go. See how fast that went by? Like a freight train going by and a bunch of dust blowing off the back of it. Okay, something else I'm going to point out to you is down here. This is the speed at which I'm showing you this at five frames per second. I had to slow this way down just so you could see it. Because when I put this at normal speed that I usually show these things, you can barely see this thing fly by. So, I'm going to put this into motion and we're going to put it up to uh, 18 where I usually show you guys. So, start. Let's go up to 12 there's 18 now watch how fast this object goes by you see that you could barely see it if I hadn't slowed it down that's like a freight train just whizzing past you like a bullet train if you see how close it came to the Sun and how fast it was going by 
you'll realize we dodged a major bullet right there. That almost took out the sun. Watch how fast it goes by. Bam! Like a bullet being shot at it. Now I've slowed it down to 8 frames per second, and let's watch it one more time. See how slowly this first object is going by? And how slowly everything's coming out? Compared to that, boom! Everything going by, nice, normal pace. And this thing just comes out of nowhere and blasts right by the planet, or right by the sun, boom! So as I wrap this up and leave you with the last few departing images, I want you to notice over here, you cannot see the object. It is dark. There is no light reflecting off of it. Over here, you can see it's a black planet, a black core, a black hole, a stellar core. You can see light draping around it here, over the top, around the bottom. Then, in this last final image, you can make out what appears to be a face. Here's the eye, here's a smile, there's a little rosy thing in the corner of his mouth. Does that remind you of anything? See, I chose this avatar for a reason. It has a message to it. See, I know a little bit more than what I'm letting on to. And I have volumes and volumes more of what you just saw. So I hope you enjoyed. I love you all. And I'll see you next video.